most. I think this thumbnail looks pretty good. If you think that as well, let me know. Yo guys, it is Cheese. Welcome to this brand new video here on this channel. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I make my thumbnails. A lot of people are actually ask me nowadays, like, how do I make my thumbnails look good? How do I make them clickable? Of course, like a big part of your video is actually the thumbnail because nobody is going to watch it if, if they don't want to click it. So that's basically, you don't have to do clickbait or anything, but what I'm going to do in this video is show you guys how I put my face impressions into a thumbnail. Uh, for that, I always use OBS. So I go to OBS. I don't make pictures. I actually just start recording videos. And this is something really awkward I do every time uh, making thumbnails. And I just do this every once in a while, like every week or every month. I do a couple of uh, expressions on video and then I put them into my thumbnail. So what I do is I put in my, uh, my camera into my computer in OBS. I start recording my face. So just start recording. It just records this entire screen right now. And I'm start going just like, I can just look at myself like this. And it looks like I'm looking at something over here, which I can place there. I could just do some expressions like, oh my God, are you kidding me? This is, this is, this is unreal, bro. But I could also do like, um, oh, I'm making a 24 seven video on Call of Duty. So, something really weird. You want something really weird in your thumbnail, or at least the, you want uh, your eyes probably as much. You want your eyes in the thumbnail because people always look at eyes. That is something human always do. That's just, this is just something psychologic, uh, which you have to keep in mind that if you place a thumbnail and you place a character in there, don't let them wear a mask. Always just make sure their eyes are uh, visible because that just interacts with you as a, as a, as a watcher of that thumbnail. So I'm gonna just do this right now. That was, that was a perfect one. So we stop recording right now. So I click on stop recording. Uh, I can just click this away. Basically I can go for Photoshop, create a new Photoshop 90, 90, 20 by uh, 1080 for example and you go for 400 resolution this is what I already have it I just wanted to show you guys what I did then I'm going for my files I'm going to show you guys give me a second this is everything I recorded uh, in today and um, we have this video right here which I'm going to play Like I said, I just recall my entire screen. And at this time it is my, my, my face impression, my, my, my camera. So I just record myself. I don't make photos. I record myself doing some weird face expressions and uh, which actually, um, uh, oh my God, like I sat right here. What you do here, you could just go back a little, start playing it and you can, just make a copy screen. How do you make a copy screen for people who don't know? Control Alt, and then you go for uh, print screen. It's um, above insert and above delete. So that's where you will find it. And with this one, you can actually just copy screen and post this into. Look at this, look at this. Really weird expression when I like put my finger on my lip. Yeah, I, that's why I just copy screened it. So I go away from this. I put it in here. <laughs> and this already looks like a thumbnail, doesn't it? It looks like a clickable thumbnail. Someone who's going crazy on what he's seeing. And uh, basically what you do right here is you start zooming in with this tool. And you want to start cutting. So you're going to cut this out. So I use this tool right here. I can also use this one. This is what a lot of people use. You can just cut it out manually. You can also use this magical tool, which does it for you. Uh, sometimes it works really good. For example, with my hair it does, but it doesn't do with the with the white chair, not that much. Oh wait, it's, you can put it on plus and minus. If you put it on minus, it's removing it. If you put it on plus, it's actually adding, adding what you want. So I'm still adding what I want. I'm adding myself. 
because I want to copy this to another layer. So I'm trying to just fully get myself here. Hello there. Yeah. I think I did pretty good. I'm not really sure. You can only see that if you actually copy this layer. So make sure there are not any lines in here anymore. There aren't. Uh, everything looks perfectly fine. So we go right click, copy layer, and then we can delete this layer. So you're actually deleting the background from the image, which uh, is not perfect. Like you see, it's not perfect because there's green here. There's some green points like there and there. So I manually always go over there and I use this tool right here. I manually just go over there and start cutting out the pieces which I don't need. So I'm gonna scroll up right here for you guys. I just walk past it, check everything, make sure it's correct. That's how I cut myself out, basically. Uh, I'm going to show you guys more what I do with the thumbnails as well. This is not the only thing I'm showing. Uh, for example, a lot of people like cut their self out and they actually, um, they actually get themselves a front of a blurry background, which makes them even pop out a little bit more or you make it more colorful. Uh, I'm going to show these things to you guys as well. So give me a second. I'll be cutting myself out a little bit. I'll just show you guys how, how I do that. So I'm doing it like this, so everything is perfect. And uh, I basically did it with the magic tool and a little bit manually. So we go from here to here. You can see my, my glasses are a little bit green. I can't do a lot about that because like, yeah, glasses are pretty irritating when you use a green screen. There is uh, also material here, but I'm, I'm just going to cut that out. You won't see that in the thumbnail because I'm zoomed in a lot right now. So I'm gonna pick this part right here and click on delete to delete it. <laughs> my lip, <laughs> bro, my lip. Okay, let's go out of here. Okay, let's zoom in here. There's some green there. Then um, get this out again. I think I've done everything right now. You see, there's nothing green left in the image. So uh, we did we did pretty good actually right now. We did pretty good. You got me, you can move me around. So right now I'm doing Ctrl T. I'm actually like free scaling myself. They call it free transfer in uh, in OBS, but here you can just move yourself around. I always press shift and then start dragging because if you don't, this starts happening. You don't want this because it looks really crappy. So when Ctrl Z, you go back and let's not apply. Uh, let's just put myself in a corner and uh, start working on the rest, the rest of the thumbnail. So let, let me get Google here. Let me get Google. So we've got Google. Uh, we're going to search for an image and the image is going to be uh, Black Ops 4. So we want Black Ops 4 in the background. Does it matter what it is? I don't know. We, we're just gonna pick this image right here, place it in the background. You go for layers. Place it here. You can actually delete this one if you if you don't want to use it anymore. Feel like you don't need it. So you got yourself a front of it. You can also uh, maybe even scale this up a little bit more, and you put the weapon on the left side. For example, you can do it like this. You put your you put your weapon on the left side. Yeah, that looks cool. That looks cool. Put myself to the right a little bit more so you see the car as well. And so far it looks pretty good. Uh, what I also want to do is I want to go back to Google and I want to go for a PNG. I just actually uh, search for a PNG, which is an image which has a transparent uh, background. Um, I also have this image, so I don't have to actually um, actually save it again. So you go right here, video photos, it's called my map video photos. So th this is also the map I use when I want to place uh, yeah, photos into my videos. So you just pick this, pull, pull this in. There you go. Black Ops. Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Click it. Control T again. Make it a little bigger. You can place it. I'm, I think it's a little too big. Looks pretty good like this. You can place it right here. Uh, what I'm going to show you guys as well is how to actually uh, make the background blurry. You can also like just do the same thing with the gun. Just cut it out like I did with my face and then remove the background and 
just keep the gun like this. We're going to do the, t the total background. So we're going for, uh, we click on the background and uh, then we go for filter. Click on the background, click uh, filter, blur, uh, guess and blur. And you can choose how many blur you want. I'm mostly going with 13 because that looks pretty, pretty cool. Now I can make my image bigger. So it pops out a little bit more. You see, I'm popping out. You see it's, it's Black Ops. Uh, in the background but it's not really visible so you can go for less if you want to you can also do something like this so you see it's blurry but not too much you can still see it's a gun and you can still see it's black ops so right now it's like a front of the gun that's not perfect you even, even place this a little bit more to to the left side to make it fit more like this to make it fit a little bit more and place your black ops for right here this looks better already uh, there are also some things you can add now we added the blur to like uh make the depth that i'm so a front of the background and you see me really good you know this is black ops you don't really have to see everything and this is the title which you can do as well if you go to um image adjustments and then you go to res uh, saturation if you put the saturation up there will be mo more colors. If you put it down, it's going black and white. So sometimes I just put this up because the more color is in the picture, the more uh, people actually drag into it because there's so many bright colors and it looks so beautiful. And they're like, wow, this is cool. We have to click on this. Uh, you can do the same thing, adjustment with your with your face. You can't do too much because you got this. This is like, Dragging out all the colors as much as possible. That's not what you want to do. So you, I, I started with with zero. Um, I started with zero, and I want to just push it back up to, for example, I can't really do a lot with this one. I see it just turns to green a little bit too much in front of my eyes because of my glasses. If you don't have glasses, it's uh, it's probably much easier. Uh, the thing you see is there's some green in my hair. Let me just show you how to fix that as well. That's some green in my hair. If you don't got a green screen, you don't have that problem. Uh, you can actually just put an, uh, an inner glow on your face. Uh, I'm gonna just make it perfectly white. Uh, you can just select how much effects you want on there and then how effective you, it will be. So if I just put the size like this, I believe, and then drag it down a little bit. You see it, it, it changes to white. We still got the green. That, this is what you got with a green screen if the picture isn't perfect. You still have that green on the face a little bit. I think you don't re you don't actually see it. If I make this smaller, if I just uh, zoom out from this and you would see it as a, as a normal thumbnail. You see, you don't really see the green. This is what the thumbnail actually looks like after you're done. If I helped you guys out a lot, uh, you, you definitely let me know by uh, subscribing down below and pushing up that like button. That's uh, how you guys support me the most. I think this thumbnail looks pretty good. If you think that as well, let me know in the comments. Uh, if there are any things I could do even better. And uh, that was cheese. I will check you guys tomorrow at a brand new video here on this channel. That was cheese. Peace.